last time, we assembled the global coefficient matrix K for our global matrix equation. K times e Z is equal to the right-hand side array. And we also applied the boundary conditions to finish solving for the right-hand side array. And by applying the boundary conditions, we also had to modify the K matrix at the term NN, NN. So this modified B and also that position in K. Now we can solve for the EZs at the nodes of the grid using EZ is equal to K backslash B. This will only provide us the solution for the EZ fields at the nodes of the grid. As a result, let's start by plotting out the EZ fields at only the nodes of the grid. So for this, we can use the scatter command in MATLAB. Scatter x comma y, where x is an array that holds the x positions of all the nodes, and y is an array that holds the ez values at the nodes of the grid. Now, note that when we solve for ez, we'll get complex numbers. But the output that is most useful to us is the magnitude and the phase of the EZ field. So at the end of your code, create two plots. One for the magnitude of EZ, and two showing the phase of EZ. You'll probably find the abs, absolute value command in MATLAB useful for plotting the magnitude, and the angle command for plotting the phase. Lastly, before you actually run your model, think about what you expect to see. What happens when a plane wave is propagating in free space towards a PEC? How does it reflect? And what is the interaction of the reflected wave and the incident wave? Remember, our FEM model will give us a solution in the frequency domain. Also remember that we set the total number of elements equal to 30. So NE is 30, which covers a distance of 1.5 wavelengths from the PEC, since we have 20 elements per wavelength. What exactly do you expect your magnitude plot to look like? And your phase plot? Make a detailed sketch of each before you run your code, and then we can compare your expected result with the result from the FEM code to help validate your code. After developing your expected solution, go ahead and run your model to see if it agrees with your expectations. Plot the magnitude in volts per meter and the phase in degrees, and the x-axis of both should be plotted, so the x-axis, in terms of wavelengths.